It's so sad, man. It's such sad news because, like, I think it's GG, fam. Because this is a band I grew up on. But let's let's go. Let's go. Now, this headline in itself might not seem very daunting. But what this implies is honestly really sad and scary. Now, so Azalea dying drummer is to sit out on tour, Jordan, due to ongoing internal issues within the band. I was It was my wish to avoid any further touring until these issues were resolved. Look, they lost Nick. Nick Hippo, legend. I love Nick. He's been on the show a few times. He sometimes lurks in chat, which was already so sad to me because... I've said it so many times, Nick's guitar work, and uh, like, again, as I like dying in part, is a big, one of the reasons I started playing, I started listening to metalcore and wanting to play metalcore guitar and stuff. So like, that was already a hit. Josh left, who was their clean other singer and bassist, which sucks because Josh is also an incredible musician. And now it's like the drummer of that was there forever, Jordan, is also, I mean, ongoing issues, like sitting out for a tour. Yeah, like he's going to, this is it's not going well right it's they're gonna fucking leave yeah josh is now part of spirit box or on tour with them which is which is actually really sick right so let's read the article and then i want to talk about this because this is sad man like as i lay dying like and i know and obviously some people don't support them because of what tim did in this i like as i lay dying because it literally is the reason one of the biggest reasons i got into metalcore it has nothing to do it has a bit to do with the guitar work and nick that's why you know much love to nick Everything else, I don't care. It has nothing to do with even the band itself. It's just, it's special to me. It's a nostalgic band because it's it's a big reason that I do what I do today. Fuck, man. Like, ugh. As Light Dying has been having a rough go of things recently, starting with bassist Josh, Josh leaving, quitting. Uh, Miss May I, which is sick. Ryan is an awesome bassist filling in alongside with Ken from On Earth, who's also an awesome guitarist. Now drummer Jordan has announced he'll be sitting out of their on upcoming tour due to unspecified issues within the band uh so this is jordan apparently to all our, fa our fans my friends family supporters within the industry there has been a number of ongoing internal issues with azalea dying that need to be worked out it was my wish to avoid any further touring until these issues were resolved since they have not been resolved it is with a heavy heart that i announce i will not be performing on any of the upcoming tour dates until further notice thanks to all you for understanding and then there's not been a replacement yet announced um and this is the tour dude it's like oh like what do you guys think like you think they're gg i genuinely I, when nick left i honestly thought they were semi gg but then i was like okay you know what josh is still there phil's still there jordan's i was like okay and then josh left and i'm like oh my god really whatever there's still three members <laughs> One of them is not very liked by the public, usually. And now it's like, it's just the Tim band. Tim and his other band that he can work. Yeah, Tim does have his other thing, too. And Phil, yeah, Phil is great. I mean, Phil's, they're, of course, a, a great part of the band, too. But it's like, I don't know. You think Phil's going to stick around? Like, everyone else is gone. Fuck it. Like, this is sad, man. Like I said, this is a band that got me literally into fucking metalcore. The first, like, metalcore album I ever gave, and I remember getting it from my cousin, because he got it from his sister, my other cousin. She gave him, as I lay dying, Shadows Are Security, the CD. Remember CDs? Those used to exist, right, chat? And he threw that shit on. I was like, nine, ten, maybe? I was around ten. And... Right away, it starts with meaning and tragedy and hearing that fucking da 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 And then right there also through struggle. I remember hearing that shit, bro. And my my entire existence changed at that moment. I have never in my life heard something like that. I was like shocked, you know, and I was just kind of getting into metal. My cousin would already play like Alexis on fire, some Marilyn Manson, some fucking Under Oath and stuff, right? But this was the first time he, he was playing like metalcore, metalcore shit. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And how do I make my life about it? I was also terrified at the same time, but I thought it was so fucking cool. I mean, I remember even taking the CD home so I could burn it and then showing it to the CD cover to my mom. And she was like, as I lay dying, what's the satanic shit? And she got really mad for a second. <laughs> it was really... I mean, I was like that, right? I, I grew so attached to this album. And band here, here and there, you know, delving slowly into some other songs, some other albums as, as I got older. And uh, I remember, dude, I was going to school. I was getting ready. I think it was like starting off high school or some shit. I forgot how old I was. And I see on the news, Tim Lampesis 
vocalist of Azalea Dawn gets arrested. I was like, what the fuck? Because they never talk about metal bands. What the fuck? So like, I remember seeing that blow my mind. And it was that was that sucked, man. Because I'm like, fuck, dude. Like this is such a this is a band that's so special to me. I was like, it sucks seeing that. And of course, that's the thing that gets shown is. And then again, fast forwarding, however many years later, four or five, I forgot how how old uh, my own grave was. Absolute banger. Glad they were back. Glad they kind of figured their shit out. And again, a lot of people still don't support the band because what Tim did and all that. Understandable. Totally cool, right? And then Nick leaves. Josh leaves. And this, and it's like, it's sad, man. I don't know. Like, I genuinely think out of any band to release new music, like, I don't know. It's just like Asley Dying has always been like very near and dear to my heart. So um, it's like, fuck, man. There's no way. Like, it's, I think it's GG, dude. And that sucks because, like, they came back with such a strong album, too. Like, their last album was so fucking good. It had everything you wanted from As I Lay Dying. Like, it was As I Lay Dying. It wasn't like a one of those, oh, here comes the big metalcore band coming back and they drop some shit on you. Nah, man. They came back and were like, oh, yeah, this is why they were the kings of this sound. All right. I remember. <laughs> Which it's so rare that bands do that. It is so rare that bands who are huge do something so good and then get canceled, kind of, right? Or the vocalist gets canceled and then come back and actually make as good music, if not arguably better than they did before. When does that happen? It never happens. It's so fucking rare that that happens. And it's just, you see this, man. So I don't know. It's it's sad, man. I I genuinely thought, yo, they're back and they're just gonna take metalcore. Like they just win, which is good, cause like, yo, I miss I miss metalcore, man. Like I always talk about metalcore here on the channel, and there's good modern metalcore bands, like sure, like Architects and like Era and like you know, no one's really doing like that OG metalcore anymore. Like there's there's a few, you know, Bleed from yeah, like the five seven eight, like sure, Bleed from Within. Bury Tomorrow has switched up a little bit, but sure, Bury Tomorrow. Trivium has always been really consistent, but they also explore a lot more things, right? ABR too, but they also explore. I don't know, man. I like that is by far my favorite era of metal. Just by 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 a mile, man. It's sad. I I I don't I don't know. I hope they maybe continue, but I just don't see it being a reality, man. I think Asley dying might be done. And that's it. You know, good things have been birthed out of it. Like, yo, Nick's new band, Meyer, is fucking sick, right? Like I I had Nick on, we checked out Meyer. The new out their their new album's sick as fuck. But it's just like, damn, man. There's it, it's like, you know, that just something about the nostalgia of it. That's like, huh. Kind of sucks.